Welcome back to Inside the Vandals, everybody. Joining me now, women's head basketball coach, John Newley. John, thanks for stopping by here and uh, talking a little shop with us. Ah, great to be here. Appreciate it. All right, John, so 16 games down this season, uh, 16 at least left, hopefully a, a few more. Uh, talk about your thoughts halfway through the season, what you're happy with, what you want to see improved going forward from here on out. Well, I'm happy with the way the team's developed. You know, I think from um, November, October, really, when we started, uh, with so many young players and how fast they assimilated. You, know, you never know with that many freshmen playing um, how it's going to be. It's going to be a roller coaster, and it certainly has been that. But I will say our progress has been steady, and we've been getting better every day and uh, better every game. And that's, that's as a coach, that's what you want. So I like the way our, our shootings come along. We've really shot the ball extremely well. And from uh, November till now, I think our rebounding has, has really, really improved more than anything. And defensively, we're starting to really implement the game plan sure. and uh, shut, shut people down. And we're going to have to win on the defensive end. I know we can score. That's not a problem. <laughs> it's defending that uh, sometimes has been our issue. Now, John, you talked about these freshmen, three specifically uh, true freshmen now starting for you in WAC play. You have Connie Ballestero, Christina Salvatore, and Allie Ford. And then on top of that, maybe some of the other players that aren't mentioned but really are newcomers in Addie Skivo, Marin Oskul, and some of these new players into the system. Talk about what you've liked from them and where you want to see them grow, obviously, in these four years, or in the case of Addie and Marin, two and three years. Well, you know, going in, we had, you know, a good mix of, of old and young, you know, um, Chrissy and Alyssa played a lot of minutes last year in Jess. So um, they've, they've helped out the young players, but uh, I like the way the young players have come along um, in learning how it's played at this level, the speed of the game, the physicality of the game uh, for Alley inside, the speed of the game for the guards. And they've really picked up quickly on it. You know, um, I, I tell you, they're three of the best freshmen that, I, that I've ever had. And, and you can tell they're all starting now, playing major minutes, playing major roles in what we do and it carries over in the games. And their enthusiasm is great, man. They're just great people, they're great people to be around, a lot of fun. They're having fun playing basketball here. So now, John, you come into WAC play this year. You guys are three and eight, a brutal non-conference schedule. You have Colorado, a top 25 team. Gonzaga receiving top 25 votes. Wyoming, a fantastic team. The list goes on. Uh, you get into WAC play, a heartbreaking start against Seattle U, a game that you even said should have won. Uh, you come back, you get a win against San Jose State, a great win against a team who just beat uh, Utah State pretty badly, and then unfortunately another heartbreaking loss to Utah State. Now you guys are on a two-game win streak. You get two big wins this week at Denver, at New Mexico State. Talk about the mood of the team right now on this two-game win streak and the 3-2 and two start in WAC right now, third place in the conference. Well, the start's great. I think um, it, the thing is it could be so much better. You know, Like I said, I feel like we should have won the Seattle game. You know, we're up two with a minute to play and that block charge either way. I think it was a big factor in that. The Utah State game obviously being up that big with 12 minutes to go and then uh, letting them come back was, that was a killer for us. So, you know, but you can't play that game. I should have, could have, would have. You know, what we have done is win three games and two on the road. And that's huge. Anytime you can go in the whack and, and sweep a, a road trip, it's fantastic. And we really did a great job defensively on that road trip. And, uh, you know, we made some big shots down the stretch. And now, John, looking forward to this week here, back at home inside the Cowan Spectrum. Now, you guys started your first three WAC games here. Unfortunately, it wasn't quite the home court advantage you wanted the kids still on semester break. Now you get the fans back in here, and you started off with a very difficult physical game against Louisiana Tech, known as one of the powerhouses in WAC basketball for many years. Struggling a bit this year, second place in the WAC right above you guys. A win would take you into second. What do you see in Louisiana Tech this year that's maybe different in the past, and how can you guys exploit that? I don't think they're as maybe as physical inside as they've been, um, or as deep. I think in the post area, you know, with people like Dowdell and those those kids who have been there before and really been a big physical presence in the post. I think they're a little more guard oriented uh, this year, though. I think Whitney Frazier is a great player, um, but I don't think they're as deep. Um, they might shoot the ball a little bit better than teams in the past, and but I'm not sure they they get after it as as they have. So. You know, they're, they're still obviously a very talented basketball team. You know, we've never beat them, and it's, it's time. You know, I told our players this, it's, it's time to get after them and, and know that we can play with anybody in this league, uh, Louisiana Tech included, and I think we need to come in with the confidence that we can do that. Uh, we got to attack them. Um, they're at pressure. We can't play back on our heels. And we're going to have to rebound. We're going to have to rebound like we've been rebounding. Um, and that's one thing that almost led us down to New Mexico State. So we're going to have to get back to the glass uh, big time against La Tech. You talk about not beating La Tech last year here inside the count spectrum. Idaho losing by only four. Alyssa Charleston, a big game in that one last year. And then moving past La Tech, Saturday evening here inside the spectrum, you guys open up the Texas swing. Uh, first time playing UT Arlington. 
How tough is it to play a team that you've never played before? I mean, obviously, there's still tape uh, that you can watch and know, talk to people, uh, but is it a little more difficult than playing someone that you're used to playing two times a year? Oh, it's going to be different. I mean, the whole league, yeah, with all the Texas schools coming in, we were talking about that right before the league started. How it's, it's kind of a weird, different conference feel to it with all the new teams and a lot of teams that are going to be in one and done a year. So we won't even see them next year, you know, for our last year in the WAC. Uh, Seattle U, 5-0 in conference play. Maybe a bit of a surprising 5-0, although they are a very good basketball team. And then a lot of 3-2, three 3-3, and 2-3 two, three and three, two and three teams. Just how open is this conference, and is it one of the more open conferences you've seen in your time here? Oh, no question. You know, uh, usually you got those two heavyweights on top, and, uh, you know, everyone's trying to knock them off. Right now it's, it is wide open. Seattle's done a good job of winning a couple of close games. Um, three, you know, in the last minute. So those could have swung either way. And as it, as it goes forward, we know it's anybody's, it's anybody's whack right now. And, and we need to position ourselves so, uh, to make a good run. Uh, we'd like to keep this win streak going and try to distance ourselves and then catch Seattle. Uh, it's a new whack, but with that, it's a wide open whack right now. Uh, Seattle U, 5-0 in conference play. Maybe a bit of a surprising 5-0, although they are a very good basketball team. And then a lot of 3-2, three 3-3, and 2-3 two, three and three, two and three teams. Just how open is this conference, and is it one of the more open conferences you've seen in your time here? Oh, no question. You know, uh, usually you got those two heavyweights on top, and, uh, you know, everyone's trying to knock them off. Right now, it's, it is wide open. Seattle's done a good job of winning a couple of close games. Um, three, you know, in the last minute. So those could have swung either way. And as it, as it goes forward, we know it's anybody's, it's anybody's whack right now. And, and we need to position ourselves so, uh, to make a good run. Uh, we'd like to keep this win streak going and try to distance ourselves and then catch Seattle. Well, John, thanks for stopping by. We appreciate it. Let's get out there this week, grab two more wins. All right, sounds good. Awesome, thanks, thanks. John. Well, that'll do it for us here on Inside the Vandals. Make sure you guys tune in the same time, same place next week when we see how the women did here in the Cowan Spectrum and how the men did way down south. Again, I'm Madison McCord. See you next week.